Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will prepare the front end code to make sure that how the menu looking links will be visualized in the front end. So, <coughs> first, what we need to do, we need to stop the execution of the application create the action listener having different name so the first name was the menu now we will create the action having name links so right after this we will create action name links right click here and add the view associated with this okay so click add now what we will do we need two tabs create location uh, links and list links so we will replicate the code from menu in sense of tabs so here go to the menu and I will copy this whole container and come in location paste here okay uh, <clears throat> now what I need to do I need to uh, replace this okay here is the first tab having name create menu links and list menu links then what I need to do I need to use the drop down okay I need to use the drop down so I will not use this approach I will simply say that I need to use that HTML dot drop down list and <coughs> that list will be like uh, I will give an ID to this any ID uh, links uh, name okay so here that is represented add new class like this now remove it <coughs> okay 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 it's working fine okay and just like this uh, we have list which we will see in the next video tutorial now execute this link in browser right now what we need we need model we already have created the controller but we need a model which help us to exchange data from database to front end so in the next video tutorial we will create the model for this uh, menu links module and right now we will only visualize the data okay uh, what we need more uh, here <coughs> it is executing uh, we need drop down which have the menu location name and after that I have the text box uh, which include the name of no okay I think something happens wrong maybe it is 
aggregating right now okay so okay something happened wrong let it save uh, once clean the project and after that rebuild it and when it's get rebuilt successfully now execute this yeah oops here we have an error which is letting us know that we need something to be passed in the second parameter of drop down so what we will do we will pass empty select list like new select list and enumerable dot empty then here we will pass select list item okay and pass this okay and also add this okay so now it's get fine here copy this and paste it here and now refresh so we have two drop downs will be appear here but we don't need two drop down we need only one drop down where we will uh, insert the values of menu location and here you can see <coughs> it is empty that's why uh, viewing like this we will populate this in the upcoming video tutorial where we will use ajax and jquery to insert data within this now uh, we need to add some <coughs> simple bootstrap to it uh, to make it more visualizable and interactive for that uh, what we will do we will come here and <coughs> here uh, apply this and click new this at class is equal form control and now uh, cut this from here and paste it here and you will get the result like this refresh it and you will see that how it will appear okay and you can do the same with this but here we need the html text box having the same uh, for example link name oops it's menu name and its links name apply the same here and here is the link URL now refresh the page and you will see the final GUI or the form which we need to fill whenever we want to insert a new link into our menu oops uh, it's not work here okay okay add the default value as now and it will be fine now you can view this how it look alike so it is a final view whenever we are going to create the menu links here will be the drop down of menu location here is the name and here is the URL which we need to insert and whenever we click on process 
uh, the data is inserted into menu link list i hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering project youtube channel to get more amazing video tutorial regarding asp.net development take care bye bye have fun